Yes, trailblazing with late-night television technology. Oh, thanks for coming back, man. It's a pleasure to have Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be on the show again. This Here's what the CD looks like. And, uh... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um... Wow, black tie, white noise. I wanted to lean back, but I got this backpack on from the, uh... I can't look informal. It. Do you mind if I look fairly... What? Well, you know... Like that. You look clean as the Board of Health, man. Uh, you can do anything you want to do. <laughs> you know, you've always been sharp. You've gone through a lot of changes, but always sharp. Do, do you save wardrobe? I, every single thing that I've had... A lot of the, uh, uh... Ziggy Stardust things in the early 70s. <laughs> yeah. Zippy! Zippy Stardust. Um, I, I, were designed by the uh, a Japanese designer, Kansai Yamamoto. And uh, so all those were original things. I mean, he was just inventing these crazy kinds of costumes in those days. And I've got, I've got all that stuff still. Yeah. 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 Now, when, when we were here this afternoon talking, there's something about a, a legend or a true rock star. When they're in the house, you know they're in the house. You know, I mean, he just, he walks like a rock star. There's an aura, and a, you know, and, and... I walk like a lorry driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Do you know you, what a lorry is? It's a cab, right? Truck, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know that. Well, I haven't traveled much, so but I... so English, but, you know, I didn't know if anybody knows. Yeah, I walk like a lorry driver. You know, you know what else I've learned? I'm not, I'd like to walk like a lorry driver. Well, because it's a macho thing, right? No, because Presley was like a truck. Oh. Well, you are the English Elvis Presley. Not when you can only be a lorry driver. <laughs> <laughs> but you can be a truck driver, you can be Elvis Presley. But if you're a lorry driver... Have you always known... nothing but a Labrador. does not... <laughs> it's not the same kind of thing, you know? Then I was going to ask you, have you always known? Because you just carry yourself, I mean... I saw Little Richard in a, a film called uh, Disc Jockey Jamboree yeah. when I was about eight years old. And at that time, I wanted to play saxophone in his band. I mean, that was... My total ambition was to play sax in, in that band. But I only met him two years ago for the first time. If you hadn't have become who you are, what would you have liked to do? Painter. Painter? And you still do that for fun? Yeah, you... still paint a lot. Yeah. 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 Um, just one quick thing, because you're talking about bands and playing with people. Um, would you like to seriously speak on Mick just for a second? Yeah, the, uh, the band, the Spiders and Mars, uh, that was the whole situation that sort of got me uh, the kind of fame that I, I, I had in the early 70s. And the lead guitarist with that band was uh, Mick Ronson. And unfortunately, yeah. And Mick. Uh, tragically, he, he um, succumbed to cancer uh, three or four days ago. Um, and his, in his passing, it, uh, I, I want to say that of all the early 70s guitar players, Mick was probably one of the most influential and profound, and, and I, I miss him a lot. Um, how's the wife? Is she around here? She's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's in the green. Where's your camera? Hi, darling. Yeah, she's, she's probably hanging out back there somewhere. She's hanging out back there, yeah. yeah. You're very much in love, I can tell. Yeah, I'm over, over the moon. Yeah. Deliriously. I'm so happy people want to strangle me most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you about this specific relationship. Your interracial relationship. Oh, you know, people ever to, bug you? you? People ever sweat you for it? You know, it's, I don't know. That's a, that's a very strange uh, situation for me because I think with both of us, having the so-called celebrity status attached to us. I think the moment we step out of our doors, we're no more as David and Iman, so I'm not sure what it would be like for us. I know, funnily enough, you see, you don't see that many mixed couples in America. In Europe, you see, there are a lot of mixed couples. Over here, it's still rarity. There's still this great separatist uh, kind of thing over here. Um, so I don't know what it would be like for us if we weren't kind of known in our own right. Um, you get the odd snide remark, but nothing of any weight, you know? Yeah. It doesn't bug you, though. It would do, yeah. It would bug me a lot. I'd get mad. Yeah. You know, you did something... Oh, I hit him like a lorry driver. <laughs> 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 no, like a truck driver. <laughs> um, I, I just want to mention this, and you're probably going to kill me. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red you lorry. Mean this lorry thing. You... Um, I just want to oh, say yeah. this real quick. This man did something that was so cool. Um, long time ago, I bought this crack house with um, 
Well, yeah, I, I bought this crack house and, and uh, we converted it into a, a center for kids so they can learn computers and, and study different things. We redid it. And David's come along now and he's given proceeds of the single to this house that I converted. And it was the coolest thing to hear. Um, I found out a couple of days ago. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I must say, it, it's not only myself, it's also Al B. Shaw. Um, yeah. uh, the, the song is uh, Black Tie, White Noise, and it's a duet that I do with uh, Albie Shaw. And I must point out that Albie also has donated his royalties from the single as well to this uh, particular Unity Hall. Yes. But it's, um, it's not dissimilar. In uh, 1987, I come from uh, not a dissimilar area in London called Brixton. And uh, over there in 1987, I, I tried to do a very similar thing. So I, it's, uh, I feel there's a kind of a twinning of the two community centres. Yeah. So I just wanted to thank you. I'm sorry if I oh, embarrassed it's my, you. No, it's, uh, I'm only too pleased to be seen to be one of the haves trying to make a gesture to the have-not situation. Okay. It's token, but it's, uh, it's uh, a pointer in a direction that one would like to see the society going into. Because now being newly married, I'm obviously thinking about children and, and what kind of society Iman and I would want our children to be brought up in, and I think it's um, one of the weightiest things of the, the, the last part of this millennium as we draw to the year 2000. We seem to have a wall that nothing else will happen past 2000. This life continues and our children's lives continue, and we've got to do everything that we can to make this world a place. This is our children's planet, not ours. You lived a wild young life. Do you ever look... I lived a wild and reckless <laughs> youth, I've seen you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> now... <laughs> Nobody? Oh. <laughs> You're alive and healthy, though. Do you ever look Christmas at the... This is about drag, I bet. Well, no, it's about the casualties. I mean, we've seen so many of our heroes okay. uh, fall by the wayside. You know, I mean, do you look and say, thank God, I, I made it? Yeah, I think the serenity prayer is something that keeps me back onto that course. Yeah. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, I was very lucky. Now, we can talk about androgyny and bisexuality. Drag, I mean, no, the drag like, question, like, right. Now, you kind of, it would be fair to say you dabbled in the 70s in, in a lot of interesting things. Never as much interest in it as you have, I <laughs> I knew you were going to do this. It says, on my, it says on my resume, David Bowie, rock singer. Interest, bungee jumping, home improvement, drag. <laughs> there it is. It's right there. Um, Every Englishman <laughs> likes dresses. Oh, okay. I'll have to talk to Dudley Moore about You've that next time he comes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I, you know, I put one on for money. You know? I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's move on. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> they just showed that stupid um, picture. Oh, you know what? David Jones is a very cute little name. Why didn't you hold on to it? 